Hi everyone, it's Kay here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm going to show you my revamped retro cookbook journal because I think it was a bit too big before um, and I think it might have put some people off from have, from buying it. So I've um, taken it apart, made it smaller <laughs> and I've um, created a different um, spine on the back here with this gorgeous really pink pink lace and on top of the um, rickrack and added some more um, flowers and a bit of bling on the side here. So it's held together with a just a pretty ribbon. I thought the green would look nice with the green. And uh, um, it's uh, nine inches that way, seven inches that way, and it's got um, 13 double pages. It's got 26 double pages in, in the two signatures. So there's the front of the first signature, and uh, there's nothing on that page there, but you know, it could be used as a journaling spot with some paper on there or some pictures in there. Um, <clears throat> I've added some rickrack on the side here, oh, just added a doily, just stuck it on the edge there, so it doesn't really serve any purpose, but I just think that doilies are a rare retro thing. Some tags. Here, I've added some of that lovely pink lace. Not that you can see the pinkness there, but a South Australian egg board card. I made the tuck spot out of a beautiful glass plate with some, I don't know if they're jam tarts or I think they might be jam tarts, apricot jam maybe. A little tuck spot there with sort of just the edge of a, of a, not an edge, a corner of an envelope that matches the writing paper here. This is just a little flip like that because it matches the little flip on the other side because <laughs> I had, had this, uh, this apple came from the um, book it was called the Women's Weekly um, the Women's Weekly Retro Cookbook so this was in the book so I cut it out and made it into a little flip I think that makes it a little bit different the tag here and this little and I added some um, What's the word? Rub-ons. And I've just got an old Kent Road Mopley Mopley card there, a bit of a sticker there, and there's the envelope there to create a pocket, and then and in the envelope it's got this little thing here that I made, and there's a video of that, how I made that, and it's got some things inside, but I'm not going to show what's inside because it'd be a bit of a surprise. A, a, a retro greeting card but the per can be taken out and used as a whole whole writing spot. Do you know I've, I tie my journals in and who know who knew well I didn't know that it's actually called Madura style which I didn't know I didn't realize I had a name so there you go so my journals are Madura style because I always tie them in from an old, old uh, sewing pattern and this is I'll just come out this is from this is just a, one of those uh, pocket holder with a slide pocket here. I love that. I love that. I love love those slide pockets. I really do. And a little um, pocket at the front with some just the word fresh. Sorry, it's glary. <coughs> Which can be used in the journal. So that's just in the little pocket there. <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. As soon as I start talking, my voice has got a tickle. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, just a little tuck spot there with a journaling card. I like the little white flower on that. And I've um, sewn a lot of these but with my dinky sewing machine. Because it's a dinky sewing machine, I'm sort of still getting used to the uh, to it. And uh, as you can, it's not my sewing isn't all that perfect. But isn't it junk journal? Not supposed to be perfect. So this is the story of the little char lady because. To the back of the story here with the um, about the seeds about the cat and the seeds because I thought seeds were sort of like to do with cooking the Victoria sandwich was a very old kind of recipe my mum used to make Victoria sandwiches all the time cakes I used to make them when I first got married but I don't make I don't make cakes very much anymore um, tag just a little tuck spot there do you call these tuck spots? 
not a belly band. There's not much on a lot of them aren't no, decorated with us because they leave lots of space for photographs or recipes or uh, writing, you know, like all writing down your parents' memories. It's a little calendar here on the back of a sewing card. With a tight squeeze, I might have to cut that again. I cut it already, but I might have to, to cut it again. Leave that out for a minute. There's the back of the doily, it's pretty, isn't it? Some ephemera here, just a bit of a, a part of a, a ledger from a collection and a, reci and a, re a recipe, <laughs> a receipt from a receipt book, and some little elements from the collection I use as an echo. No. Simple Stories, Home to the Farm, I think it was called, that I use as well for in this collection. There's more rick rack on this signature. And there's another doily, which I think is gorgeous. And there's a tag there, and a postcard there. And these are all pictures from the cookbook. I, you know, this is this looks like a trifle. My mum used to make trifle all the time, especially with my husband, because she used to, he loves trifle. We didn't make it for a while. Uh, retro bingo card and a retro recipe card in there too. In the back end of that um, beautiful glass dish with the tarts. Another one of those retro cards. Another pattern. And a oh, did I show you the first one? That's a chicken card. What's in the in the first one? Um, yeah, it's the uh, farm animals. And this is a little uh, fold out folder. Where I'm not going to show you what's in there because a bit of a surprise for the buyer. This is the back end of that card. More of a story with a little char lady, um, some little elements in there in the envelope, and a really sort of retro looking tag there. Got that in a in a junk journal pack from from I believe Cottage Craft. I'll put the link below. Below. Australian company. Uh, a little Tim Holtz ephemera holder. I've got some ephemera in here. Tags and it's just tying the string. I didn't didn't sew these tags because they're too tiny and uh, some retro pictures from from a book that I had. So there's just a whole pack of things in there. And there's a folder here with some that I made use from sewing pattern. Um, thank you to Beck of Beck's Beckerelli's books, and I'll put her link below too. And uh, to check her channel out, and she uh, sent me some things, and um, uh, and one of them was to make a folder out of a sewing pattern. I thought, what a fantastic idea! So that's what I've done. And this, this, this one here is to hold the elements in, and this one here is just to hold the thing, but I might have to put this one over the whole lot to hold the, because it's not holding very well. There you go. Two clips in there, one with pink and one with blue tassels. With some um, retro recipes there, and some, this is a, a pay envelope from uh, Something I picked up in a, in a second-hand shop from 1948, so that's in there too. There's nothing in that envelope because it's very fragile. So, And this is a um, Building Society book thing. And there's the doily again, back of the signature. And there's two, two journaling spots here with the cards, the iced fancies. And the ladybird cake. I just put them in there because I thought they were fun. And uh, that's all. That's my journal, and uh, uh, that's the that's the cooking journal. And I really hope that you like it. But I'm going to sign it because I was watching Gail Ackerstonelli, and she said 
sign your journals. And I put my name, my business name on there, Papercraft with K, but not a signature, so I'll do that too. Thank you very much for joining me today, and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.